Hey, it is You Made Tuki Saturday. I, I guess that's what I'm calling this. I, I don't think that's actually what I'm going to call this, but it, that's just what came to mind. Either way. Oh, that's a lot of, <laughs> that is a lot of latency. Hang on, let me reload the page. Jeez, hang on. I make sure I download my save file before I do anything. Like clearing the cache, just in case, you know. I trust that nothing bad will happen, but may as well, right? Find.txt. There we go. Okay. Clear cache. Shift reload. Let me just do the thing. Okay, that seems way better. All right, so. The plan for today is 
I've been slacking when it comes to visiting the Spelud locations. So I figure today, like I still want to do wallpaper stuff, of course, but let's hide the text for now. I'll come back to it. Where is the text? There you are. Today, I want to see the Spelud stuff that was in this patch right here, version 0.122i. And I think we just start with a thumbnail one. We start with Radiant Rainbow Reef because it's super, super pretty. And it seems like a lot of stuff branches off from Constellation World anyway. So it's pretty easy to get to. There's also presumably stuff that branches off from, from uh, Innocent Dream, but... It's Innocent Dream. At the same time, it's just, it's gonna be annoying. Okay, so they haven't quite gotten that fast yet. Oh, <laughs> okay, so it's autumn. The Libra Palace jump scare. Let me just go all the way up here because I don't know, I don't know what is where. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, that's adorable. This was part of the fantasy library route initially, right? This was part of Chaos World. Whoa. Well, it was as advertised. Radiant rainbows indeed. I love this music. God, what did I just do? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, I did. I definitely did something. <laughs> I knocked on the egg, and my first thought after that was murder. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to actually hurt anything. I just meant to crack the egg open to see what was inside. That sounds so messed up out of context. But hey, it's Tuki. Tons of stuff in this game sound sound horrible out of context. But I'm on the, I'm on the hunt for potential connections because I think there's something that branches off from here. Looks like this is a standalone area. Okay. Let's give it one more swim around and I mean if I manage to find that egg thing again, then maybe it'll have respawned? Hello. Is that a different xylophone path? Or is it the same one? That might be the same one. Okay, let me try just chainsawing it once. Oh. And then... <laughs> Why did I get money for that? Okay, so there's this. That was, was and is super cool. And there's also a connection to Gemini Constellation. Interesting. And there's also, I, I also want to go to Alreshka Sea, but I don't know. Uh, 
the Alpha Piscium Star in the Pisces area in the Constellation World with the glasses equipped. Oreshka, that's a, that's what I'm, that's the word. Uh. Okay, so the current season needs to be winter. It was, I think it was autumn, right? Let's see, seasons. Right, I gotta use Terra Terra to check. This is winter, okay. Okay, Capricorn Palace. Got it. <laughs> the, the, the freaking little guy. I love him. So it's not this one that I'm after. I'm looking for Pisces. I. Th That's Gemini, right? Or is that Pisces? I don't know my astronomy. Which one of these is al is um, Alpha Piscium? If this even is Pisces, oh, it is Pisces. Got it. Whoa! Oh my God, the trail effect on this. I do like how is this just is this just it? I do like how the fish all stop for a moment when you take a swig from the vending machine. Whoa. There's even a little bench here. Interesting. Ah, uh, Silkworm Forest, I don't have a whole lot of reason to go to. Oh, it has the underwater area quality. I didn't think about that. Another place that I want to try and go to is I want to go to Coffee Cup World. Now, you might wonder why. Because, I mean, for one thing, Coffee Cup World is not actually a Spellude location, but it was in this patch. And uh, with every passing day, Coffee Cup World gets more, more and more connections to all sorts of different things. A Derogop locations, uh, Spellude locations. Once we get there, the, uh, you'll be able to see the full list. It's kind of shocking how many, conne how many connections uh, Coffee Cup World is, considering I almost never go there. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I could, I could go to, to um, Coffee Cup World the funny way. I could go that way, or I could go the funny way. 
I could go f through uh, Lemonade Edifice. Like, isn't there a passage to Lemonade to a uh, Lemon World in here somewhere? I could have sworn. Because it would, I mean, it would make sense considering the kind of place this is. I believe this is theater world in this direction. Yeah, it's the, that's theater world. I did have an idea for more more art. It probably wouldn't be art for an emote, but I kind of want to draw. I, I kind of want to draw some art of Siramuki, the the I got scraped girl in the Family Guy death pose. I feel like that could be funny. Okay, so I'm at the place with the two on the wall. That is this down here. Okay, is this the place that connects? It does not. Right, this is completely empty. It's, oh, it's pulsating yellow passage that I'm looking for, right. Also, oh my God, <laughs> like sort of echoing what that person in chat is saying. There's 230 people online. Is there a tour going on or something? I'm almost certain that's not me. I, I'm, I'm curious why there are so many people up. It could also just be because it's, uh... I guess it's 2 p.m. on a Saturday. I don't know what that, I don't know what that equates to in other time zones. That leads to so many people being online at once, but it's, in, it's impressive. I went the wrong way. It's the center door. Ah, I see. So I have to go through here. Then through one of these doors. Door all the way on the right. Then down here, Gokaron art. I'll save that save that to my clipboard for later. Love me love me some Gokaron art. Oh crap, right. I forgot there were chasers. <laughs> Every single time I, I bump into that thing, thinking like, oh, that's just a that's just an NPC. Nope, that is a chaser. Whoopsie daisy. After a certain point, after a certain point, this is just um, a teleport maze. But you could say that about a lot of worlds, really. I, I gotta check my step count.
That's the one that's supposed to connect up with, um, what's it? It's supposed to connect up with school, I think, but I don't know, I don't know how you use that connection. Maybe, the, maybe it's effect-based. Oh, this is school. What's the one up there, then? I know for a fact it, it isn't Lemon World. That is a work in progress. Weirdly, this area is weirdly soothing. I don't know why. Sit chill music. Here we are. That was not. That was definitely not faster. But now we're in Totem Hotel. The numbers that I want to know is that I want to know how many steps people like uh, Yuga or uh, like Nulls, uh, Nulls Dodage. I don't know how you're actually supposed to pronounce their name. I want to know how many how many steps they've taken. So, there's a surprising amount of connections from here. So let me just go up, there's the key, this is the right triangle. Let me go across to the star and then up. First one I want to point out is there's a really cute connection to Cocktail Lounge only if you have the boy effect equipped. And, I mean, considering this is natal, and considering the new florist stuff that just got added, there is a weird amount of connection to the boy effect, and I do not know why. But there is some sort of a connection there. Some sort of Kotensu 28-esque lore that I am not privy to. And I- <laughs> the more I say that, the more I realize that that sounds like absolute gibberish. Hey, Zycards, what's going on? The more I say that, the more I realize it sounds like absolute gibberish to someone who has inflated Tuki. Entrance from... Wait a minute. Chaos World? That must not be updated, because Chaos World was... Like, a major world. Major world in the fantasy library route, so where does this lead now? Hey, what's up? Honeybee Laboratory with Insect? So, is this the one? It is. Cute. There's a lot of- there's a lot of weird areas that connected up with the fantasy library stuff that I never really... I never really saw? Oh yeah, there's a connection to Candy World, too. I may as well just poke around at all these. There's a connection to, um... The one that always comes to mind is there's in the... In the Innocent Dream sort of, like, weird bedroom area after you trigger the initial event, there's a path to Silkworm Forest, and I think it actually got removed. Uh... Let's see. Yeah. So, this passage uh, to Silkworm Forest, it used to be in Tricolor Room, in the weird gray bedroom area, in Uneven, in, um, Uneven Dream, in Innocent Dream. And honey, that honeybee area used to be exclusive to Chaos World, which is a pretty deep location that you can only get to along the long and winding path to Fantasy Library. 
<laughs> also, yet another weird one, weird one-off a Derogop location. Sour Void. But now I think, what else is there? Great to see. It's great to see. Oh yeah, there's there's a connection to Mole Mine too, but I I I don't care about Mole Mine. I've already been there. Uh, added Shrine Maiden NPCs to Fox Temple. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. All right. I guess now we continue on our on our main quest. Let me get the text back up. And the first quest is one that has eluded me many a time. The faraway scenery in Foliage Estate. This place is gorgeous. All of the pla all of the places that connect up with Foliage Estate are gorgeous because they're they're all by Moriwo, and Moriwo is a master of their craft. This area is also a labyrinth, and I've never been able to find fully, just find the um, faraway scenery before. But hey, may as well, let's use this for two things, because I'm pretty sure if I go and check, if I go and check my trusty little phone, I think it's still stained with piss, but I'm willing to believe otherwise. Yep, it is still lemonade out of this. Oops, <laughs> I gotta go, gotta go fix that. I th yeah, there's. I guess there's technically the path through Tesla Garden, but I don't want to deal with Tesla Garden today. There's the passage through Burial Desert. Let's go the path through Alien Valley. I haven't, I haven't gone that route in a while. Oh, wait, <laughs> not that way. I always default to going to Grey Road, but it is not Grey Road. It is Bleeding Head's Garden. Uh, not that far off, actually. I, I, I so wish I was there the whole time when Joel streamed Tuki, but I had, other, I had other stuff that I had to do that day. So I got to see part of it. I think I streamed part of it and then by the time I, I I ended up leaving, and I didn't get to see some of the like more crazy stuff. Like I, did, I didn't see when there were 500 people online. I didn't get to see when they made the shape of a uh, the Varg friend, or when they completely filled up the screen. There is still I, I still have a way of experiencing of it. Experiencing of it. What am I saying? I still have a way of experiencing it. I guess because of the community screenshots. I haven't actually looked at these in a while. And I poked around just to be sure, because I haven't looked at these in so long. But they exist, and I got jump scared. You ready for this? I don't know how someone did this, because I didn't even know you could upload animated screenshots. Someone did Bad Apple. <laughs> I don't know how long this took, or how they even uploaded the screenshot to begin with. I imagine they must have they must have reached out to Sam or something and had Sam put the gif up. But this is I, I imagine this is just algorithmically. They just like took Bad Apple, crunched it down to a super low to a super small resolution, and then just recreated it in, in um, primary estate. It's pretty incredible. But the main thing that I was here for is this. I didn't get to I didn't get to uh, be a part of this image, but this is this is such a cool image. <laughs> like this is if ever there was a way to um, show what Yumatuki Online was all about, this would be the perfect image to show someone. 
it, there's a lot of just great stuff. A lot of art from Primary Estate, which, by the way, uh, Primary Estate is is amazing, and it's one of the best worlds that has ever been added to the game. <laughs> I'm still looking forward. I don't know if it's still happening, but I remember hearing at one point that there was going to be an update to um, Primary Estate to add more features, but I imagine that is a ton of work because it's, it would be stuff like a paint bucket, and that would basically have to be done manually. So I wish Bean luck in doing that. I think that's Bean. This is also an adorable screenshot. And of course... <laughs> If ever there was an, again, if ever there was an image that embodies what Yumatuki Online is, it would be that image right there. Okay. Back to adventure. In other news, um, I was poking around on certain sites, just like looking for looking for PopCap games or just like other things that could be interesting that I couldn't find anywhere else. I just saw that there was a section on this this website that shall not be named for WiiWare games. And as some of you might know, uh, WiiWare does not exist anymore and hasn't existed for quite a while. Because uh, it's the year is 2024. WiiWare has not been around for a very long time. And all of those games are completely unobtainable without illicit methods, unfortunately. I was poking through to find to see what games are even on there. And not only did I find a bunch of old PopCap games, which I might end up playing, it's hard to tell, because a lot of them are just straight ports with no new features, but who knows? Maybe... Given time or given interest, I might end up doing those. I also found a game that I've been... Pardon me. I also found a game that I've been looking for for a very long time. Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. So, a bit of context for that. Because that kind of just sounds like gibberish if you don't know what I'm talking about. That is the Homestar Runner Telltale point-and-click adventure game. And apparently, I had no idea, the game was released on WiiWare. And unfortunately, there's no way to access it on Steam anymore unless you fi somehow find a key. Because I think it's, it's still listed on Steam because, I mean, thank God. Thank God Steam works this way. There is no way for a game to be properly deleted off of Steam. Or if there is, Steam is never... I don't think Steam has ever actually used that that power. You can unlist a game, but everyone who had access... Everyone who bought access to the game when it was listed will still remain having access to it. Like, even with stuff like uh, Spec Ops The Line more recently, everyone who, ha who has Spec Ops can still play it, and... You can go on G2A or something and find a Steam key and redeem it and play Spec Ops the line that way. Now, they're going to be exorbitantly expensive. And that's my main problem, is that I'm sure there are a bunch of Steam keys for Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people, as are most of the Telltale games, but they're going to be like $100 each or something like that. The prices are going to be crazy. I remember... I remember I was looking for uh, Poker Night 2 because for both of the po both of the Poker Night games, Poker Night 2 and Poker Night of the Inventory, there are tie-in promotional items for TF2. And for the longest time I wanted them, but after looking at the price, I look, I still want them, but I don't know if I $100 want them, you know. It just doesn't seem worth it. But hey, this is another way. And the other issue is that I think Telltale is technically still around. Like they, 
I remember seeing, what was it, like Telltale's The Expanse or something like that? that like, there was some game that was re-released that is by Telltale, but I imagine from here on in they're going to be very choosy which with, with which games they bring back. Because that is what tanked their company, so I imagine they don't want a repeat of that scenario. Because I don't know the exact reasoning under the hood, but the thing that I had always heard was that the reason why Telltale went under is that they spent so much money on licensing fees for their, for various different franchises that it ended up tanking their company, basically. That they, they, were, they stretched themselves so thin, acquiring so many different licenses and making so many different games, and the sales just couldn't keep up. Even... Even Telltale's The Walking Dead, which was very popular. I'm sure they made money on it, but when you weigh that one game against their the entire rest of their catalog, it gets drowned out. So that's what ended, that's what ended up happening there, to my understanding. Okay, I remember this is an annoying path because you kinda have to you can't just go straight down. I could try, but there's gonna be there's going to be a wall in the way. Right here. There's normally there's normally a um a threshold there that you can walk through, but that's only if you come here from Dream Apartments. I have to go the long way. But if I, if I ever reach a stopping point, I'll have to I'll have to show off what games that I've what games I found on that illicit site and I won't be able to I won't be able to directly show it because I'm pretty sure YouTube does not like it when you know it's YouTube <laughs> YouTube does not really like it when you do stuff related to being a pirate you know the deal isn't there a path down here no hang on where am I right now Okay. Oh, I'm all, I'm all the way over on the on like the divider. Oh, I should just be able to go over here then. Wait. There we are. But I'll I'll have to like pull it up in another tab so I can say the games that I've found because there are there's are some interesting games. It's it's mainly just stuff. Oh yeah, Minecraft story mode was definitely part of it. Because just considering first off considering how much money Telltale probably had to fork over. Oh wait, I should probably I should probably go back to Sugar Road so I can get a full age estate from there. Considering how much money Telltale probably had to fork over to, um... I actually forget if it was Microsoft or Mojang at this point. I think it was Microsoft at this at, at that point. I forget who owned the rights. Either way, it was a ton of money, I'm sure. And then to have Minecraft Story Mode go over like a wet fart, like it ended up doing, I'm sure that was a massive loss for them. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure people played it. Like, they're... There's no doubt. It has the word Minecraft in the title. I'm sure people picked it up. But... Oh. Me? <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually interacted with these guys before. One point eight million steps. Hell yeah. That is a lot. That is a lot of a lot. I am curious how many steps I have, because look, I've played this game a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, I have not played the game nearly as much as some people have. 
And I swear that's not just... <laughs> I swear that's not just imposter syndrome talking, but there are people who have been playing this game for four or five years. I saw people pop up who said that they've been playing this game maybe with the same save file since, like, 2018. I think I started playing this, uh... When was it? Year and a half ago, I think? Hang on. Next spot from here is... Oh, I'm in the wrong place. I need to go to Mountaintop Ruins. In fact, you know what? I'm not that far out from the Nexus. Let me just go check now. I'm curious. Let's see. Also, look at that. PC wallpapers, 90%. We're getting there. 5% to go, and then we get endings. We get ending four. Playtime, 204 hours. 1.6 mil, okay. So you still have me beat there, but I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Someone got the sofa room for the first time. I just see a chat all caps. Where am I? You've been teleported to the cat room. Enjoy your stay. Just thinking about it, the, the games that I got from that haul, the only one that really comes to mind that is unique. I'm trying to think. Also, where is Mountaintop Ruins? That's the red. Oh, God, that's a decent ways up. The, the only game from that list that I really really stuck out to me was Peggle Dual Shot, which is the DS Peggle game. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's cheeky. Dual Shot, DS, it's a, that, that, that is cute. I have seen Grapefruit, I've seen Grapefruit play it. Uh, if, if you want information on it, uh, your best bet is probably to watch Grapefruit play it because he did, he did all the content and also the queue levels, which I don't even know where I would begin doing the queue levels because for a bit of context, uh, the people who made that game, or at least like who made the bulk of that game, were not actually PopCap, but were a company by the name of Q Entertainment. And there were a set of levels that were included, just like a little bonus level pack. Oh, new batch. There's a little bonus level pack that could only be accessed through, um, I think it was IR connection. It was, it, I think it was IR connection. Some sort of DS specific functionality that can't really be replicated in, a, in an emulator because you either need to connect to another system that also has Peggle Dual Shot, which doesn't work because emulation, or alternatively, you just find the stuff online. Oh, shoot. The goofballs. But in Grayford's case, what happened was someone sent him a cracked version of the game that had that had the Q levels unlocked, and he just played those. So I'm not sure if I could just look it up and find it, but it's, it's definitely something to look into as like a cool thing. But it is already archived on the internet. So I could reasonably skip it if I really wanted to, but I... I also kind of want to play Dual Shot just to experience it for myself. 
because I've heard that it is basically fine. It is definitely, it's better than, oh, whoa. Okay, we're leaving. I forgot how fast that one was. <laughs> I am so glad their pathfinding is as bad as it is. That, that could have been bad. Also, I'm pretty sure that eyeball arc, that, um, eyeball archives, that, um, eyeball cherry fields chaser, I'm pretty sure that's the deepest chaser in the game that locks you, that locks you in a, um, in an inescapable room. It's either that one or the one in funeral prison. It, I think it's, it's close. One, it's one of the two. And the one in Funeral Prison, I don't even really count that one as a chaser that locks you in a room, because, like, that is... <laughs> it may as well be a teleport to Floating Brain World, because that's what it is. The only time that I've ever interacted with that chaser is using it as a shortcut to get to Voxel Island. Alright. It's time for a little bit of cartography, because this place is huge, and I kind of need the map here. <laughs> like, up until now, I've been a little bit hesitant to use the map for stuff beyond, like, Whipped Cream World, where I could just get super, super lost. This is where I just abandon my shame and just use a map, because, oh my god. The path in particular here is the yellow path to faraway scenery. Okay. Yeah. May as well grab a drink while I'm here. There was also, a, um, speaking of Telltale, some other stuff that I eventually want to play is I eventually want to play through the Sam and Max stuff. Maybe not on, maybe not, um, to record, but just to, you know, just to experience it for myself, you know. Because it just, they, they just seem like fun games. They seem like fun and goof, fun and goofy as hell. Uh, okay, Green Square... And then yellow circle, yellow circle, where are you? There you are. And then white square. Okay. And then blue. There we are, okay. It's my freaking, my cartography. Aw, oh, see ya. Glad you could make it. Okay, and this should be it. Okay, this, this room looks really cool. And then... Yeah. This place is also super, super cool looking. Like, it's a pain... It's a pain to navigate, but... 
I can't deny how absolutely stunning Moriro's worlds are. Now let me, let me sit here for just a moment and grab the wallpaper guide. Send that one to the bottom. I'll do that one later. Okay, and I'm I'm just I'm kind of just doing some maintenance. And there's some that I'm pretty sure I've already done that I'm gonna I'm sending to the bottom, so that I can come back and do them later if I need to. Oh god, and I, I see within view too one of the one of the pretty close wallpapers that I need to get is to visit Piano Alley, which I mean it's not that it's not that much more annoying than it used to be because now instead of going instead of going to tricolor room through Urasuki's dream apartments, I just go through library instead. So it's not that much worse, but it's still ugh, it's still obnoxious. But for now, right now we go to we're going to the rooftop area of Shallows of Deceit. This is a Kotensu location, right? It is. Okay. We're gonna have to go through the gutter no matter what, so I guess I just I'll just go through Solstice for us. this place coming up there's like a there's a grate that I have to chainsaw this one This is another area where I am I'm slightly tempted to just I'm I'm tempted to just go by the map. I'm gonna run around like an idiot for a little bit because I'm I, I got nothing else I'm doing today. I may as well try. <gasps> Hello there. I haven't seen this before. <laughs> I think that means this that means this might be the wrong way, but I mean it's worth going in this direction anyway. I think I recognize this room, so this is the right way. My other concern is, do I recognize this because... Oh. Do I, rec do I recognize this room because... I've taken it before going to the other place that the gutter is connected to? Anyone can... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Wait. Oh, God. Wait. Nabasai is handling a wallpaper update. Oh, no. <laughs> My 90%. <laughs> oh, 
God, how many? This is the wrong way, I think, because th that leads to um, smiley signs. Okay, this should be... I think this is Shallows of Deceit. Yeah, Shallows of Deceit. I'm going to imagine that the Starry Sky area is what, I'm, what I need to go to. I think it is. I think it is. Uh, okay, it's over on this path. Um, this. Whoa. What the hell? That's beautiful. I wonder if this is, I, I have to wonder if this is a photograph. It's either a photograph or pixel art. Either way, it, look, it looks gorgeous. All right. So next up on the list is entering Sherbert Snowfield for the first time, which maybe I've been there before, maybe I haven't. It's it's hard to tell, honestly. I'm pretty sure I have not been here before. Or not Sherbert, rather, Sherbet. I originally thought this was the place um, that one place from Mushroom World, but I'm thinking of Ice Cream Desert. The, the False Guardian's Trials. Oh god, right, it's Mapsuki. Mapsuki's got some weird stuff. Oh, this is also a connection from um, Mushroom World, huh? This is a uh, dream park? No, hand up. I wish Odin still made maps for the game. I, I love their style. I gotta go and I gotta check their um. I, I forget the name of the. Oh. I forget the name of the of the fan game that Odin made, but I I have I think it's Yume Graffiti. I have to check it out at some point because I I adore their style. Okay. So. Yeah, I should just be able to go up a little bit and find that pink puny room. I still don't know what the deal is with these. Hello. Uh. Hello? <laughs> I don't know what I just did. There's a pair- I think there's a quest associated with this thing? Uh... Oh, interacting with the pink puny may give you a, may give you a large amount of yen. Afterwards, the puny will disappear. Me? 
What's this about false guardians trials? I'm going to assume it's this bit in the center. Um, hello? <laughs> what is this, like, Pokemon Elite Four music? <laughs> I have to run the- I have to run the fucking gauntlet. What is this? This is not what I was expecting at all. these things, do they chase you, or do they, I think they just move randomly. Oh. They, like, they aggro on you sometimes, presumably. Okay. No, can't use any effects here. I think I might just be stuck unless there's something that I'm missing. Is there a path off to the side or something? Yeah. Super weird. I'm sure this is a absolute wall of text. Okay, I thought so. Guarding one of the menu themes, really interesting. The warp that brings you to the entrance. Oh, sixth terminal. Yeah, that is that's an entire thing that I haven't even I haven't done much with sixth sixth terminal at all yet. Where are you? Oh, I see what you mean. So there's a connection through Sixth Terminal, Sherbert Snowfield, Cypher Fog World, Butter Rain World, and Sound Sauce World. Okay, I got you. That's, de that, that's definitely something to do another time. Mental note for future me. Definitely come back and explore this, because this is cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see. So th this is probably what it's referring to. And then Graffiti City, so that's just Shaker Road.
Oh, that's Blob Desert. Interesting. I don't know the I don't know the last time that I've actually that I actually went to Blob Desert, but I I swear I've been there once. hard place to find specific things in. Oh, I think that's the... Down in the... Yeah, that, that's the robot, I think, that it's referring to. Let's go find that robot. Okay, so I need to go east from here. Look for a dead end with two clouds. Where did I just end up? I see it now. Okay, I see that. I finally see the clouds. It's there's so much rainbow stuff here. It's hard to tell. It is right over here. This. This is what I was. Supposed to be looking for. Awesome. Now we get to the one that is concerning. My next goal is Piano Alley. This is gonna take a while. I'm going to assume that the book is the one all the way on the bottom on the left, the, the one that says Spellude Box, but I could be wrong. <laughs> also, while I'm here...
I think it was, I think this, um, this was added fairly recently. Oh god, there's a couple of spell loots here. Which one is it? Oh, uh, this isn't marked. This is it's probably this one. No? Sushi 1, Sushi 2. Let's try the back room. Nope, those are all hints. So that's Eyeball Archives right there. There's no book here. Interesting. Oh, no, it's this one. Oh, oh my god. This actually has a function now. Like, th that book has been there before. Th this, isn't, this isn't the first time that that book has been around. Also, oh my god. <laughs> I, I wanted to check to see if this was still here. And that it is. Alright, sorry. Attempt number one, Fountain World. Damn it. <laughs> At least I can see immediately if I did it wrong. Or rather, if I got unlucky. Not much you can really do about it, though. Yeah, everything everything regarding... um, Almost everything about uh, Tricolor Room is the same. You just can't get to it through Dream Apartments anymore. I've always wondered how they figure out the names for these places. Because with some, some places like this, like, tricolor room, it's fairly obvious. I think that, that that would make sense. But there are some places like Sweet Medical Utopia, or Lemonade Edifice, or Bodacious Rotation Station. Oh yeah, a blue tricolor room, I believe, is now completely ex inaccessible. But I think you... The only thing that was in blue tricolor room was a passage to here, right? Because a uh, yellow yellow tricolor room is the passage to uh to uh what's it called? Cloud floor.
I never even put that- I never even put that together before, that this is the, um... That, like, ri rising set of chords is the same set of chords that the girl plays at the piano here. Like, that- that book has been in the game for a really long time. I think basically since... The whole tricolor room, fantasy library, innocent dream... Little quest line has been in the game. It's not this Posada's place. And I'm only going to do this once, but while I'm here... I can't not. Elvis. <laughs> I also noticed they're they're building a Terra Terra Bozu line in the Nexus. I might end up joining that line when I'm done here. But I want to give I, I want to give this a good amount of time to just. Try and get Piano Alley, because I've never gotten it before, and I only need to get it once for these wallpapers. I can do this faster if I use the shortcut menu, because uh, bike and chainsaw are right next to each other. Seems like a little bit faster. definitely going to increase my body count by a lot. Oh, damn it. 
I'm just gonna do it through the menu. It's a little bit slower, but it's also more comfortable. I forget, what is the... what is the chance of this? Four and thirteen, it's a one and thirteen channel. Some? Oh, I see. So it's it technically leads to the slums, but it's a it's a one in thirteen chance to leave the piano out. I'm tempted to just keep doing this until it works, but I don't really know how long that's going to take. Because it's, I mean, on one hand, it's only a 1 in 13 chance. On the other hand, it is a 1 in 13 chance. So I could be here for a while, especially because of how long it takes to, to um, roll each chance. I have to wake back up and then walk over here. And then go back, go all the way over. Then equip chainsaw, then wait for the animation, then wait for the screen to darken. Then go back in, then go down the hole, and only then do I get a chance for it to work. Oh! I got it! Piano Alley, let's go. I can hear music so incredibly faintly, but there is music. But there we go. That's one of the one of the more annoying random chance things that I have to deal with. Done. And there's a, there's a whole other set of, let me see. It's just a, it's just a whole bunch of hard areas. The wallpaper is by accessing Garden of Treachery, Lavender Waters, Nocturnal Grove, Static Labyrinth, Field of Cosmos, Lunar Sanctuary, Piano Alley, Moonview Lane, and Wind Turbine Plateau. And I've done all of those except for Piano Alley, which I just did. So that's done. Interact with the Drumhead NPC in Shop Ruins. I 
I don't know why I went here. <laughs> the main difficulty here is resisting the urge to go and revisit all of Natal's other worlds. Yeah, apparently Drumhead. That's copied right from the wiki, so I guess we, we, we shall see whatever the heck this is. This is an old thing, too. This isn't even from the new content. This is just a random thing that's been in Mask Shop that I still haven't... I still haven't experienced yet. I'm probably gonna see a bunch of people around here, too, because it's... These areas have just been updated. So I'm looking for wallpaper 498. Something about a drum? Okay, I'm going to assume... Let me just go to Wallpaper Guide real fast. Because that does not... that didn't really illuminate anything. It's Wallpaper 498. Um... <laughs> the Drumhead NPC in Shop Ruins, eh? Well, that... That certainly is a Drumhead NPC. take a shot in the dark and say that it's the um head I think it's the cake shop that I need to go to here It's hard to tell what I need to do for these for some of these areas because I mean this area is massive. There's a cake shop around here somewhere, and I need to find that cake shop. <laughs> this kind of looks like the, um, Experiment 666 from Amori. This is... Realm of Gluttony? Yeah, that's Realm of Gluttony.
goober. Sit on top of the tuna can. Okay, this is this is the place. Using cake or chainsaw will cause the shopkeeper to face Urasuki. And in the case of Chainsaw, refuse to sell her food. If I chainsaw her... Oh! Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I think I found the pink dress you were talking about. <laughs> this dress is adorable. Damn. There's a surprising amount of this one pink girl with, or this one girl with long pink hair. Yeah, there she is again. I wonder what's up with that. Could be down here. I. God, write this room. This room's awesome. Yeah, this is florist. Uh, I guess I just move this one to the bottom and I'll come back to it later. Equip the Terra Terra Bozu effect in snowy suburbs. How deep is snowy suburbs? Oh, it's one of these, right. This is, 
No, hang on a minute. This is where the- I'm pretty sure this is where the vending machine is. Two birds, one stone. Wolf bike. So if I use... Cute. <laughs> I like how the vending machine is marked because there's literally nothing else to do here. So weird, super weird. Ah, shoot, it is the vending machine. How about that? Um... Yeah, it's, I mean, it's cute. I just wish there was, I just wish there was more stuff here. Uro bear, <laughs> right? Weren't there new? There was new stuff added to sand to um, sands of self or desert unto thyself or whatever it's actually called. There's so many monochrome worlds. Huh. Oh, right, and there's a... I, I forgot about this. That's a whole thing. So, best way to get here seems to be apartments? It's apartments, so that is... Mushroom World. Or hell, I can just use I can just go to library. I can just interact with the division proof kid. Number yummy. Ah, uh, great, the UFO's back. Uh... 
Oh, right, right, right. I remember how you get here. Five Nights at Tukey's. That's docks, I think. Yeah, this is the hole. Instantly five maps appear. <laughs> okay, so my goal here is to get to the Iron Crypt, which means I need to go to the GB Fields. Okay, right, so I need to go to the room, I, I need to go to the weird building, uh, interact with the TV until it turns into a picture of an eye, and then leave out the back. A mushroom or a Saturn devouring his son? Wait, how do I get inside? Oh. Okay, good. I thought I had to go inside the rock or something. Yeah, and I gotta do this again. Dang it. Never mind. I don't remember if that's the door I needed to go out of, but I guess we'll see. Down the well. Whoa. This isn't the way I have to go, but this music rocks.
Right, okay. Hang on. Let me route my way back to the entrance. God, that is the that is the funniest that's the funniest quote out of context, <laughs> bro. This guy looks away from me, ruining my cute pick for real. Is this it? I think it is. And then the GB feel do do do. Okay, southeast from the entrance, you say. Whoa. The Iron Crypt. I've never seen this place in my life. I guess, I guess that makes sense though, considering that I didn't get the wallpaper for this before. Ah, uh, yes. The plague of any RPG maker, any RPG maker game, trying to move diagonally. Oh! Oh, okay. Man, that would have been so much shorter if I had gone through Nail World. Oh well. Blue how let's see. I think I'm gonna stop now. Because I'm I've been going for almost two hours. While I'm over here, let's see. 91%, the number gets higher, we're getting there. I will get ending four if it kills me. Darn it. Hmm. All right. So that'll probably do it for me, but like I said, before I stop, Let me go ahead and bring up that thing that I was referring to before. And tell you all the stuff that I found poking around WiiWare.
Oh, right, because I'm a fool. I looked on WiiWare, and then I changed it to all, and then I punched in pop. Yeah. Okay, so. List of games is as follows. I found Amazing Adventures, The Forgotten Ruins on DS, Bejeweled 3 on DS, Bejeweled 3 on PS3, Bejeweled Twist on DS, Bookworm on DS, Mystery P.I. Portrait of a Thief on DS, Peggle Dual Shot on DS, Plants vs. Zombies on DS and PS3, and Popcat Hit Popcap Hits Volume 1 and Popcat Hits Volume 2. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna play any of these, because a lot of these are just the same games but ported to a ported to a console instead of being on PC, but hey. I feel like they could be interesting. And then I also found that all five episodes of Strong Bad's get, uh cool game for attractive people, which I might also play at some point. On my own time, at least. But yeah. That'll have to do it for me. I'm gonna go drink some water and then go eat some food. That's how a lot of these streams uh, tend to end, huh? But yeah. I'm gonna go offline. <laughs>